So today, we will be doing the day 2 of advent of cyber. We will learn how to run a phishing campaign. And the name of the room is phishing. Merry Clickmas. So let's go inside this room. And in this room, we will learn how to use the social engineer toolkit to send phishing emails. So task 1 is the introduction. And the storyline is, in our company TBFC, as part of the cyber security awareness training, we will be running a phishing campaign so that the employees are aware when clicking a link. So this is what we will learn. And I can see in this task, we have two machine, the attacker machine, which is us and the target machine, which is our victim. So let's start both of this machine. So while this is loading, I will click check. I have successfully started the attack box and the target machine. And for task two, phishing for TBFC, the first thing we see is social engineering. The key term here is social. It means that the target is a human being, not computer system. It is also called human hacking. Social engineering is used to trick a user into making a mistake, such as sharing a password, opening a malicious file, or approving a payment. And a subset of social engineering is phishing. The most phishing attacks are done by email, but these days there are other ways of phishing, like with text messages, which is called smishing, voice calls are called phishing, but the umbrella term for all of this is called phishing. And how do you spot a phishing email? You can remember with stop. First thing, does the email look suspicious? Is the email telling you to click something? Is it offering you a crazy deal? And is it pushing you to do something now? Which is creating a sense of urgency. And there are more ways how you can verify a phishing email. Like you should first slow down. Type the address yourself on the browser. Do not open anything unexpected. So these are few of the ways. I'll make a separate video on how to stop phishing. But today we will learn how to do phishing. And I can see my machine has booted. This is the IP address of our machine. And this is the IP address of our victim. I can see this IP address over here too. If I copy my victim's IP address, open Firefox and paste it. I can see we have an email login portal. Now to do a phishing campaign, we need two steps. The first step is to create a fake email portal. And step two is to send the fake portal to our victim. So if I open my terminal, I can see the task files are in this path. I'll copy this and change to the file directory. Inside this directory, I can see we have the fake email portal's HTML code and we have a Python file. So let's run the Python file with the command dot slash and the name of the Python file. And I can see we're hosting the fake email portal right now. Let's copy our IP address, which is this one. In our Firefox again, open another tab, paste my own IP address, and the website is hosted on the port 8000. I can see we have the fake email portal. Now if I type an email address and a password and click on sign in, I can see nothing happens here, but if I check my terminal again, I can see we captured the username and the password. Now we have to send this URL to our victim. And the way we can do it is with a tool called Social Engineer Toolkit. So let's start the tool. I'll click on File and open a new tab. Inside here, the first thing I will do is start the tool with the command AC Toolkit. And we have to select an option from the menu. I'll choose one, which is social engineering attack. We get a menu again. I'll choose five, which is mass mailer attack. And now you have two options. You can target a single email address or multiple email address. I'll choose one. And we have to send the email to this email address. So let's copy this and paste it. We will choose our own server, so option 2 here. And now we have to type our own email address, which is this one. Now we have to type our from name, which is this one. Username for open relay, we will leave it blank. Password for open relay, we will leave it blank too. For the SMTP email server address, this will be the IP of our victim, which is this one. The default port number for SMTP is 25, so I'll keep this selected and press enter. Flag this message as high priority. We don't need to do this, so no. Do you want to attach a file? No. 
Do you want to attach an inline file? No. Not for the email subject. It has to be something conventional. So type shipping schedule changes. Send the message as HTML or plain. I'll choose HTML with H. And now for the message body. I'll type something like Dear Elves. The schedule has changed. Please confirm the new schedule. Urgently. Add. And I'll copy the URL of my fake portal. And paste it. Best regards. And the last line of email. We have to type end to say that our message has ended. And now if I wait for the elves to complete their login, I can see the elves fell for our trap. They have logged into the fake email portal and this is their username and this is the password. And I can see one of the question is, what is the password used to access the TBFC portal? It is this one. So let's copy and paste and click on check and we were correct. And if I try to log into the real email portal, I can see with the factory user, I have to provide the admin password. So for the username, I'll type factory. And for the password, I'll paste this password and click on login. And I can see we can access their email. So this is the message I sent. This message has nothing. And if I check the last message, and now if I check our question, it says, what is the total number of toys expected for delivery? It is this one. So let's copy this, paste and click on check and we were correct so this video was from my attacker's perspective in a future video i'll show you how to prevent phishing attack so for now i'll click on check and we completed the challenge so obviously this video was purely for educational purpose we completed groom 2 the next video would be spunk basics so if you want to follow along please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching